So Ken Griffin also said that multiple different hedge funds will be liquidated and will disappear every single well, guys, if I don't share this with you, will be complete disservice. Look at what Ken Griffin said about multiple different hedge funds that will be liquidated and why he actually don't care about it. But, but what does it mean for hedge funds in general? Are we going to see more episodes of some of these retail investors? Well, I mean, the average hedge fund lives for about three years. So several hundred shut down a year and the world goes on. Gabe, Gabe was certainly an iconic investor over his career. Over his career, he did an incredible job for his investors. Kudos to him. We all react to adversity in different ways. He went through a really tough run. He chose a decision that worked for him. Wow. He's not surprised. He's not surprised of, of the fallout of, of uh, Melvin Capital. He's not surprised because he knows the numbers. He knows that very little amount of the shorts and hedge funds in general are actually surviving being profitable for more than two years which is amazing it almost feels like that he also doesn't uh, actually needs or, or you know wants to empower the hedge funds he just kind of uh, you know don't care as much and this is very very good because guys again proves the point we cover so many defaults hedge funds closing doors returning money to the investors having you know double digit losses and a lot of you said, you know, they're losing money, but they still remain open. But now, uh, Ken Griffin just, you know, validate the thesis that most of these guys will eventually close doors. This means that every wrong bet on the market could be your last bet. And this doesn't exclude, you know, Ken Griffin's hedge fund. You know, all the hedge funds usually operate during the same, uh, you know, system. They're trying to implement the same strategies, how to invest on the market. And like I used to say in the previous videos, guys, they are copycats generally there are a couple of successful hedge funds and every other hedge fund just trying to copy their portfolio they try to copy their hedges they try to copy their ratio between the longs and shorts on the market and when the successful hedge fund actually fail there will be a chain reaction which will actually inflict a lot of pain within the other hedge funds and they will fail as well because simply they have the same toxic assets or they have the same diversification they have the same hedges which didn't work for the successful one so ironically you know ken griffin talk about himself and, and and talk about his hedge fund because the whole hedge fund industry is into the same cap right sure you have to be honest and we have to be straightforward and you have to appreciate that he didn't want to comment on on, on gabriel spotking you know uh, fallout he just said that that's not my business which is something that we should appreciate also let's not forget that he he dropped a, a, a bag of money you know saved up the hedge fund with uh, Stephen Cohen back in January so he tried to to, to save the, the hedge fund I think he wasn't so surprised that the hedge fund is closing because remember he actually withdrew the money that he actually put into the hedge fund same thing happened with Stephen Cohen as well his hedge fund also withdrew the money that they put into Melvin Capital. So I believe these guys were quite of a, aware the current state and situation with Melvin Capital. Uh, this is why they, they want to have the access early on on their funds, withdraw the funds. And then currently we're seeing some of the investors in the hedge funds will also get their money back. But what amazed me, right, is that he doesn't say I'm, I feel sorry about, about him, about his hedge fund. He's like, like, I mean, it's okay. You know, this hedge fund is for it's okay. This hedge fund is, is closing, you know, it's okay. He doesn't care. Uh, I mean, crazy, right? And remember the part from yesterday, he blamed the fallout of Melvin Capital's uh, hedge fund on individual investor, which uh, we all talk about. It's, it's extremely crazy because Gabriel Plotkin said sorry and apologize for, you know, underperformance of the hedge fund. Why he will say sorry when he knows that, you know, he's, he's the one. He was the one in charge, not individual investors of the funds, which again blows my mind again. So if you assume that King Griffin knows what is about to happen and many other hedge funds file for bankruptcy, close doors, return money to the investors, well, I think the party just begin. Leave your prediction in the comment section like King Griffin. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Like this video and come back for more.